talk to them. Hi, mister. My mommy makes the best juice in Sankara town. You want to try some? You look friendly. You can have a glass for free if you want. Sweetie, I told you. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I think everyone who's friendly should have free juice. Well, thanks. <sighs> Did you like it? Mmm, this is delicious! Yeah, mommy makes the best juice, doesn't she? She's an amazing woman. <laughs> she sure is. Thank you. You want more? Listen, sweetie, we can't just give away free juice to everyone who's nice to us. Why not? Because of the eviction, sweetie. We're about to get thrown out on the street. We need the money, sweetie. I don't care about money. I care about friendliness. You're friendly, aren't you, mister? Sweetie! My mommy doesn't have a boyfriend. Oh, boy. And she likes you. Sweetie, please! <laughs> Where is this going? Hello, ladies. Hey, mister. You want some more juice? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good for now. Can Hello, I talk ladies. to the... Hey, mister. Um? You want some more juice? <laughs> I guess not. Fruit? Nice fruit. Hey, there's a sticker on this one. It says Certificate of Purity. Uh, that's an odd thing to put in your pocket. But all right. A lot of nice fruit here. Okay, well, now that we're hydrated and have a fruit sticker, let's check out the band. Nice groove, man. That's it? Nice groove, man. Okay. Uh, can I participate? <laughs> I don't need a honk on that. <laughs> mm, I bet that delicious smell is coming from over there. Looks like grilled tofu rat. My favorite! Tofu rat? Oh wait, there's a tip jar. I wish I had some money so I could pay them for the juice. Sounds like they really need it. That's it? I wish I had sound. Alright. Maybe eventually I can put something in there. Uh, uh anything else? Oh, I was just gonna talk about the rat again. Let's see, fruit stand. Oh wait, it's hey, just them. You want some more? Blah blah blah. <laughs> Sign. Super juice. Super fresh and super healthy. Oh wow! I love fresh juice. Uh, you already had some. Alright. Let's continue on. You're gonna demolish Sangara Town, man! You loco, man! Sir, back away from the perimeter. You back away, man! I'm not afraid of you, man! Come here, man! I'll give you a piece of this! <laughs> this is Gamma Squadron requesting permission to open fire. No! Hey, that's right, man. You call mama. You call mama, you big chicken. Sir, there's a small, dog-like man disturbing the barricades. Hey, who are you calling dog-like, Mr. Poodleface? No, no. He's not causing any damage. Oh, you want to see damage, man? You asked for it. Uh, yes, sir. Understood. Black Belt, man. Back off or I'm going to bring the pain, man. <laughs> Aww. Like the mallet. What a ride. As you can see, there is a lot of commotion here in Sankara Town right now. Let's get a word from one of the protesters here at the barricades. Excuse me, sir. What exactly are you demanding from the government? Uh. Uh, er, am I on TV? Uh, freedom? We demand free cheese for everyone. Well, this is the most buona thing to say, so I guess we're gonna say free cheese. We demand free cheese for everyone! Wait, what? Are you sure? Never been more certain in <laughs> all my life. But that's not... Hey, is, is this live? <laughs> yes, this is ANN8, live at 11. Oh, cool! Oh, can I say hi to my friend? No, I... Hey, what's he? Kito! Everyone! I'm on TV! And cut. 
Great choice, Gabby. You had to pick a complete dimwit to interview, didn't you? Hey, it ain't my fault this assignment is complete bogus. It's not like we're reporting anything that even resembles the truth anyways. Let's take a five minute break and then do the last segment. <sighs> All right. Can I talk to her? Hey, can I be on TV again? Fun to be on camera, isn't it? Sorry, man. Segment's over. We're on our break now. My name's Gabby. Who are you? I'm Buana. Cool. So what's up, Buana? Uh, what's going on here? What's going on here? People are mad because of all the evictions. That's what's going on. And now the police are threatening to clear out Sankara Town as well. Yeah, Sankara Town is cooking tonight. There must be a couple thousand demonstrators here at least. <laughs> Not that I think it'll change the minds of the politicians. <laughs> you kidding me? Mayor Morobo wouldn't budge if her life depended on it. All right, tell me about Morobo. Tell me about Morobo. Ha! Ah, don't get me started on that mad woman. If I had a penny for every time that two-faced liar said one thing and did the exact opposite, I wouldn't have to grind this deadbeat nine to five like some other sucker. Yes, and if you keep talking like that about the mayor, you'll leave us both without a job eventually. All right, do you know Professor Moorhead? You know Professor Moorhead? Moorhead? The Underland expert? <laughs> you mean the conspiracy nut, right? Yeah, that's him! Can you help me find him? <laughs> no dice. The professor disappeared like two weeks back. Oh no! A segment on that. No big news. Why'd you ask? I have to bring him this. Hey, that's microfilm. Just like our camera. What's on it? It's got top secret data about the power no! company's plan to destroy Saint Armando. Oh yeah, secret project to destroy Saint Armando. Ooh, yeah, sure, right. Hey, I wasn't talking to you, meat stick. <laughs> Gabby. You can't be taking this fume head seriously. You kidding? This could be the scoop I've been waiting for, man. Let's ditch this farce of an assignment and go make some real news. Listen, Gabby, you're not making real news because you're not a real journalist. Hey, man, that's not hey, nice. What are you talking about, man? Your job is to look pretty in front of the camera and say what the network wants you to say. Stick to what you know, okay? Hell no, that ain't okay. That bullshit is over, man. This could be my breakthrough. I'm out of here. No, you aren't, Gabby. We're partners. And we're in this crap together, all right? You bail on me, and I'll have them revoke your license so hard, you'll never stand in front of a camera again. What an asshole. After we wrap this last bit of shooting, you can go interview a unicorn so far as I care, but as long as I'm still on this assignment, so are you. <sighs> Can we get the dude in the poncho? Sorry about Mr. Lapdog here. Looks like I'm stuck as long as he's still on the job. Aw, oh, man. Anyway, I was going to say, can we get the dude in the poncho to beat him up instead? <laughs> Come on, let's go, Gabby. Sorry, Buana. As long as we're on the assignment, I can't budge. We've got some more recording to do before we can leave. Hey, can you guys keep it down? You're going to blow the mic. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, I think I know what to do, but let's talk to him testing, first. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Hey, stop talking into the mic, will ya? Trying to get a clean audio feed here. Sorry, didn't mean to speak so loud. Can you speak up, please? I can't hear you. Let's go with the second one. Can you speak up, please? I can't hear you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta be quiet, alright? Get too loud and the damn mic is gonna break. Alright. Hello! Is this mic on? Listen, that's a real damn sensitive microphone. I hear your voice in that thing again. I'm gonna kick your ass, okay? Let's try it again. <laughs> I'd gladly pop his microphone. But if I talk into it again, he's gonna recognize my voice and kill me. Okay. Pablo? Hey, man, what's up? The revolution's what's up, man. Who are you? My name's Pablo del Toro. They call me that because I'm a real beast, man. You can't tame the beast, man. Nice. I'm Buana. Real nice to meet you, Buana. You find the fight, man? What you fighting for? For the whole city, man. Ain't you heard Mayor Morobo keeps demolishing, man? Soon there's nothing left. We gotta make our stand, man. The revolution is now, man. Wow. Uh, can I introduce you to some musicians I think you'll get along with? I heard something at the door. I have a feeling. The dog wants to be let in. Hello, Tiffy. 
Okay. Okay, so what we what we got? Uh right on, so how are you gonna stop them? Right on! So how are you gonna stop them? <laughs> Let me show you something, man. We're gonna break their morale, man. Really? These big chickens shaking. Watch this, man. It's some man for brains. Come a little closer and I'll serve you a fist full of anger, man. Straight from the kitchen of pain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Check it out. He's shaking, man. He's so afraid he don't dare look this way, man. Right on, man. <laughs> All right. You gotta keep on fighting, man. Am I gonna get him zapped again? You gotta keep on fighting, man! You're right, man. Pablo's never gonna surrender. Come here, you big burro! Sir, step back, or I'm going to have to shock you again. Come on, chicken. You got nothing on Pablo. <laughs> no! <laughs> you can't ignore the revolution. It's coming for you, man. Aww. Poor Pablo. What's up, Pablo? The revolution's what's up, man. Okay, let's not get him zapped again. Have you heard of a guy named Moorhead? Have you heard of a guy named Moorhead? Yeah, name rings a bell. Some kind of conspiracy nut, right? I think I heard something about him on the news someday, but don't remember much. Why are you asking? Looking for him. Sorry, can't help you there, man. Uh... So what do you know about Morobo? So what do you know about Morobo? The mayor's gone loco, man. She used to run St. Armando all right, but this new relocation program is off the wall, man. The whole city is going straight to hell, man. The mayor and her chicken piggies, I gotta go. Chicken gotta piggies? Gotta down the system, man. Started with these bullshit barricades, man. Man, he's angry. <laughs> you know what's behind the barricades? You know what's behind the barricades? I don't know, man. Whatever the mayor's got going on behind that thing, it can't be good. They're doing everything they can to cover it up. And whatever it is, it's taking up a whole lot of space right here in San Cara town. And that's pissing Pablo the Toro off real good. Okay. Well, let's not get him sapped. I'll catch you later. All right. Catch you later, Pablo. Keep finding the power, man. Let's see. Is there anything else I can check out? There's a crowd. Wow, there are a lot of people here demonstrating. He must really be angry. For a brighter future, we must all sacrifice. As the mayor of St. Armando, I have stated a zero tolerance hey. policy against civil unrest. Obey and stay calm. Or be Tiffany, calm by force. no. Wow, there are a lot of people here demonstrating. He must really be angry. Is this just gonna play that clip again? No, okay. Anything else I can do? There's a wall. Man, that wall is huge! Whatever's going on behind here, they must really be trying to keep it a secret. Anything else? Man, that nope. Okay, there's a wall, there's a riot police. Can I talk to him? He does not look like the kind of guy I wanna mess with. <laughs> Pablo doesn't have that same idea. Alright, let's see. Can I, uh... Blow his mic? What the hell was that? <laughs> Beats me, man. Must have been one of those noisy protesters. <laughs> oh hell. That loud noise blew my microphone. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to call this a wrap after all. Yay! <laughs> right on, Bona. Now. Let's go check out that microfilm. Right this way. Wait, but he already knows what's on it. Hey, Wasi. I brought a friend. Hey, it's that reporter from the news. Freeze. No. Oh, easy now, cowboy. I'm just doing my job here. Your job? <laughs> you mean spreading government propaganda? Y'all telling lies to keep us all down. And now you're going to spread lies about the resistance rockers? Resistance rockers? Listen, Colonel Crackpot, I couldn't care less about you and your lame-ass garage band. I'm here for a bigger story. Ooh, now you better watch your mouth, girl. Yeah, this ain't no little garage band. It's a rock and roll revolution, man. Our music's gonna change the world. Change the world with rock and roll, huh? That's hilarious. Mm, I'm glad we brought the camera. You guys would fit right in on Comedy Hour. Hey, Sarge, let me put a couple of bullets in her. See how funny she thinks that is. Don't waste your ammo. 
She ain't worth it. All right. Oh, what kind of nut jobs are you hanging out with, man? Just rig the video so I can get out of here. Let's all calm down. What? Just do, do the thing. Okay, I've connected the camera to the TV. And uh, the microphone. Look here! Whoa. Man, that's some serious business right there. See? We got to work together, or they're gonna burn this city to the ground! This is... this is exactly what Professor Moorhead was talking about. I thought he was a complete lunatic. The network made me cut his theories from the story. Uh -huh. It all sounded crazy. I had no idea. Told you, fool. You're a tool of the government. Ain't got no backbone to stand up for the truth. All right, that's it. Come out of here. Damn straight you're out of here. Gabby, wait! Yeah, go on back to your network execs and tell them we don't want no part of their lives. The revolution will not be televised, sister. Guys are not being very nice. Man, what a bonehead. Where did you find that guy? I know he can be kind of maxed out sometimes. Yeah, to say the least. Worst thing is, he's right. Huh? The network is censoring all of our news stories. Every single word broadcast over the Armando News Network is controlled by the people above. I've had enough of spreading this bullshit propaganda. Get in the car. I need to show you something. Uh, wait, where are we going? All right, we're here. This is Agibo University, where the professor used to work. If you're serious about finding him, this should be a good place to start looking. I'm gonna get down oh. and dirty with some real journalism, and for once, the network can't stop me. I'm going rogue. Ha! That's the spirit, Gabby. We're gonna blow this story wide open, Juana. You have my word. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So this is the university where Professor Moorhead works. I wonder if he's hiding in there somewhere. But they said he was gone two weeks ago. Why would he be hiding in his house for two weeks? Wouldn't that be the Anyone first place there? they check? Cool, a frog! <laughs> Come here, froggy, froggy! <laughs> Oh, nobody told me frogs could bite. Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely leaving that frog alone now. <laughs> park. This is a nice park. This is a... Okay. Overpass. That leads into the city center. Um, anything else I can play with? Doesn't look like it, so let's head inside. That's the Agibo University, where Professor Moorhead and Lena work. When they're not on cool adventures, that is. Okay. A fire escape. Got it. Oh, I see. Let me guess the door is locked. Oh man, it's locked! Okay, so I guess we sneak in through the fire escape. Let's head in then. Oh, this must be where the university store all their old junk. Boxes. Oh, these boxes are full of magnets. I'm sure they won't mind if I borrow one. Magnets? Why do they have boxes of magnets? The box says, impounded material from Professor Kenwabe's great magneton experiment. Okay, there's I my answer. I wonder what that was. The box... I want... Okie dokie. Anything else? CCTV machine. I wonder what these machines do. Aha! I bet this is where all the recorded surveillance footage is stored. Okay. Well, we don't know what time we're looking for yet, so let's not mess with that. Hey, I can see all the different rooms in the university from here. 
This must be some kind of surveillance system. Hey, I this must. All right. Any more in boxes? Hmm. Looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. You never know. I mean, you should check. <laughs> Maybe he's really small. 